Hey, this is John, host of MGTOW is Freedom. Welcome back, guys. It's been a week of Women's Day crap for me. And uh, I've done a couple of videos on it already. And uh, there's a lot of information they've coughed up at us. A lot of things I've, I've observed about the women's movement. And uh, so forgive me if I touch on some other ideas again, but I think they're relevant. What I've noticed especially about this International Women's Day, because I'm paying extra close attention or, or far more attention than normal, is the insistence on indoctrinating young women. And by young women, I don't mean 14, 15, 16. I'm talking about girls under 10. Girls that are five, four, right when they start learning that there's someone in their life other than mommy and daddy. And they point to, and I've noticed this, they point to others and say, these are your role models. These are your role models. And they're pushing that idea of putting a role model in front of these girls. So what I'm going to tell you right now, this is my opinion, is that all of these girls, anyone who's exposed to this, they're, they're ruined. They're going to be ruined before they even get a chance. The old role model system that worked pretty well, and again, it wasn't perfect because women are a pain in the ass. Even the unicorns, right? Even they, <laughs> they need the switch taken out on their ass. Right? A little swat here and there. Um, <clears throat> in the old days, a girl's role model was her mom. She would watch what her mom did cooking, cleaning, taking care of the house, taking care of the man, doing laundry. And this goes way back through history, and the girl would grow up helping that. Her mom was a great role model, or could be, because she would teach her daughter what to do, how to behave, how to act. Right? And the good women that I've seen in life learned that way, literally, from their mother. And they were instructed by their mother that this is how they're supposed to behave as a woman and uh, as a woman and this and that and they give them the ideas right they'll tell them you need to look pretty for your man right he works hard he doesn't want to come home and see an ugly person now does, is that sexist well women did it to their daughters for hundreds of years is that wrong women have done that with their daughters for thousands of years Moms used to tell their daughters when they got of age, you know, when you get married, you're going to take good care of your husband. And women know what sex is. They're not fucking retarded. You know, it is your job to satisfy his needs because he satisfies yours. Now, let's see, we've covered food, cleaning, cooking, sex, right? That was the role model that women used to get through their mother their mom's friends, their aunts, even their grandmothers, right? Imagine a little girl today, five years old, seeing a matronly grandma in the kitchen rolling out pie crust on a big frickin' whatever they call those things, right? Rolling it out with the rolling pin, da 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 throwing flour at it, doing all that shit that grandmas do, right? Because I remember my grandma doing that a lot. That's what they do. That would horrify girls today having to cook from scratch and having to serve a man. Because what are they taught? Let's look at what little girls are taught today. They're stood up right now in front of International Women's Day, this parade of fanatic debauchery. And I'm going to call it that because it is social debauchery. It doesn't have to be some flaming faggot parade or guys in drag with beards. You know, it's not. it doesn't have to be that crazy for me to consider it debauchery, but to take a being, a woman, and teach her and show her how to be something that she really is not, is a horrible insult. It is a debauchery, you know. But these girls see women running around, right? They're showing the parades, they're showing the demonstrations, the protests, the speeches, and these women are angry, right? Angry, rah, 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 rah. The speakers at these International Women's Day rallies, they're angry for what? What are they angry against? 
They're not standing there decrying Muslims raping women all over the place. They're not decrying Muslims throwing acid and, and doing other horrible things to women in Muslim countries just because they're women and they, they stepped out of the home without a brother or they're not wearing their burqa. They're not talking about these, these angry International Women's Day speakers about genital mutilation performed on women by Muslims. Right? They're not angry that, that women are kept in the kitchen and denied the ability to call people on the phone, to use the internet, to watch TV, to go shopping. Right? What are they angry about? There is no reason to be angry, but these little girls, all the way up to teenagers, are being shown that being angry is the frame of mind from which they need to approach their problems. Right. If you have ever, if you, me, and I have, ever had to deal with a feminist, you can start with a nice calm voice like this, and you're going to get nowhere. You can get an angry voice with them, and you're going to get more fighting. Right? It is fucking pointless in real life to talk to feminists and try and change their mind. The only thing I like to do is just harass the shit out of them, make them look like fucking fools and sound like idiots, right? And actually show them how wrong they are. And then let them go back and get angry about it and try and uh, justify their anger and hatred towards men. So what are these women so angry about? They've got nothing to be angry about. They have jobs, they have independence, they have fashion, they have whatever they want. They can go stuff their faces with chocolates and get big giant fat asses. You know, if they're not happy with their body, they can go get fat sucked out with liposuction. They can get their stomachs tied off so they can't eat as much. And they're still going to be pigs. They're going to go get their boobs enhanced, their ass shrunk, right? Their face tucked so that they're in a constant smile. Right? They look fucking stupid. They have all the liberty, all the freedom to do that, all they want. They have the freedom to talk. Talk about women, talk about men. But they'll never talk about Muslims, by the way. They wouldn't dare, dare talk shit about uh, a violent, retarded, masculine system like that. They'll come after uh, Western men because we're nonviolent. And we recognize that they have the rights to be free. Be free, bitches. But you're not going to get into my pocket anymore. You don't get to own me. right? Because that's where we're at now. It's no longer about women getting equal rights. Now it's about denying women rights and access to my resources, my wealth, my efforts. But International Women's Day, they're teaching little girls to continue to be angry and to push for more. So if you imagine a five-year-old girl today, let's do this. Five-year-old girl today, she's being indoctrinated in today's fifth wave feminism, which is to demand from men that they have no relationship with their assets. In 15 more years, three five-year segments, that five-year-old girl is going to be 20. Can you imagine how far the propaganda is going to be pushed? How much more they're going to demand? They're going to need these young women today, these 5-year-olds and 10-year-olds, and even 15-year-olds, to be off the hook illogical. They're going to need them to be deranged. And they're doing it. They're using pop culture and social pressure to indoctrinate and train these women. Not just a little bit, but a lot. Right? No longer is feminism the dad walking into the kitchen and patting his wife on the ass and the daughter saying, or the mom saying, don't you touch me without my permission and the daughter going, hmm, yeah, mom has a right to tell him no. Right? Even though she just benefited from eight hours of his fucking slave labor. He's not allowed to touch her. You know, shit like that. It starts very small. Very small. She's in a bad mood. What does a housewife have a right to be in a bad mood over? 
what did she not like her 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 uh, edition of Sally Jesse Raphael or or uh, Ricky Lake and I'm naming some old shows Oprah Winfrey Doctor Phil did someone do something on there that aggravated her so she can treat her husband like shit when he comes home after putting up with his fucking bosses and his coworkers and a commute and assholes in the fucking line at the midi mart and having to go and get her shit at the store. Oh yeah, that's how that shit goes. That's how that shit goes. So this is what we're looking at with these little girls. And there's more to this to come. Thanks for everything. Thank you for sponsoring the channel through Patreon. Thank you for thumbs up. Thank you for your comments. Semper Fi, I have the penis. MGTOW is freedom.